as the title says this is me talking about my first experience on twitch and the whole live experience with live streaming um, but uh, first of all I want to tell you that I will try to edit these videos as less as possible my update videos as well as my casual videos because I am not used to talk to you open-heartedly without any editing and cutting the video which doesn't make it as much organic as much fluent and easy to watch and I want you just to go sit there and relax and listen to me or watch me talk and it's very difficult because I usually tend to edit my videos because of some grammar mistakes as English isn't my native language and as you can guess from the accent and whatnot but still it's difficult because i'm somehow a perfectionist so if i make a mistake i like to correct it as fast as possible be before anyone can notice it because i feel insecure sometimes especially if someone like obviously tells you oh you made a mistake or somehow or just pet you on your head saying it's fine it's fine because i don't want that i don't want you to tell me oh it's fine it's not your language or whatnot that's just an excuse i mean it's not just an excuse but at the same time it is somehow i don't know how to express myself best here but still this is why i want to talk with you open-heartedly and just lay it down there with mistakes and pauses and whatnot and slow pronunciation and spelling of some words <laughs> so basically why i am using this and why i am doing this is because of my live streams on twitch um as a youtuber i've been doing videos every single day for one year almost i have more than 300 videos on my youtube channel and I, I think, honestly, for someone whose English isn't his native language, it's a lot easier than live streaming. Because as a live streamer, when I just started, and I started like, honestly, literally, last week, it was my first stream. I only had three streams, so this is my first thought, first experience. I just got a message on Viber. So this is just my first thought, my first experience when it comes to live streaming and it's so terrifying. It was so terrifying at the first stream. I was really scared, really, really scared. I was shaking. I said that many times on the stream and I had around like 50 to 70 to 80 maybe viewers, which is not a lot if you look at it from YouTube perspective. I have thousands of views and then you will see a live stream with a couple of views or 80 views and you think oh that's nothing for bunny girl but it's actually huge because that means that 80 people are watching you live and seeing every mistake that you can't edit you can't cut you can't change at all so it doesn't matter two three four five streamers or five i mean viewers who are watching your stream uh, are a big thing a huge thing for me so that was the first obstacle or the first thing that I had to deal with is just say to myself it's fine, it's alright to make mistakes when it comes to your language or to English language. You don't know it, you're not the best at it even though you finished uh, university, language, university, English language and literature, it doesn't matter. You are not a native speaker and that's fine. People will not judge you upon that. The second thing is that uh, the softwares are very difficult to use for a beginner. OBS is a nightmare for me right now. I think in time it will be easier. Here is my third stream was yesterday and it was a lot easier. I actually did use a gaming show where I talked about Dark Souls and used pictures. I also showed PewDiePie pictures and things like that. So now I know how to mingle and change and make it like a scrapbook live on stream and change scenes and add music and things like that. But at the start with the alert box and moderators and blah blah blah, so many things, I had to multitask live in front of people, which was terrifying. So if you are just starting with your streams and you are actually a YouTuber before that, don't think that it's easy. It's not easy. It's just the same as never being a YouTuber and just starting as a streamer individually. Just 
separate these two and they are two different things and the whole experience is totally different and I like both I like being a youtuber and I like being a streamer if you ask me right now which one I like more I actually do like YouTubing more at the moment and I think it's my primary job and the thing that I will focus on more but when it comes to my streams it's all about gaming and only gaming content but YouTube is me everything about me about movies about reactions about gaming as well speed painting so everything is there so maybe if I figure out how to incorporate all of that on Twitch it will be like here and there <laughs> But enough about that, it was an amazing experience, I had so much support, I, I still have so much support and one of the best features about streaming is actually the live engagement with the audience where I can answer a question immediately and I can see all the comments in the chat right now because I don't have a lot of viewers so it's a lot easier for me to read everything and answer you and talk to you while on YouTube some of you get really angry if I don't comment or reply to their comments because I don't see them but figure what guys I have so many comments I have so many comments and I can't make it i can't reply to every single comment right now so streaming on twitch makes it more easier for me to see it and just reply to something the other thing is that i can just casually comment on something for example if i see a movie like let's say zootopia and i really like it then i can just say on stream oh by the way guys i watched zootopia yesterday it was amazing i really like it i do encourage you to go and watch it and then some of you will comment something for example and there is the engagement and i answer blah 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 and that's it but on youtube you can just casually well i can on casual mondays that's what they are for but you can just casually mention something because you always have this target content that you have to make on a video and from the title people know what to expect and what to see in that video of course you can make reviews but it's more difficult to make a review for every single movie especially that you don't have a lot to say maybe just 30 seconds or something and making a video 30 second long is something that i almost never saw on youtube so that's it. I think I mentioned everything I wanted to mention for today's video. So when it comes to Twitch, the engagement with the audience is amazing. Being yourself is also something really great. And just briefly mentioning different topics on spot is also amazing as well. No editing required after stream, so it gives you more time and also I think that you have really really a lot of fun playing different games if you are a gamer and <laughs> while playing games while enjoying your playtime you are actually sharing everything with the community when it comes to youtube i like everything about it even the editing even commenting and reading your comments as well and collaborating with other youtubers and doing different content on YouTube. So both of them are amazing, especially when it comes to YouTube videos, they are watched more and I think it's also something that stays there longer than streams. When it comes to streams, you see one hour longer stream and you don't feel like watching every single stream. But sometimes when it comes to YouTubers, I like to go to their playlist and watch every single video. The whole day I'm like watching Casey Neistat videos, older ones and whatnot. And then you can see that engagement, something that you haven't seen and you see it like three years it was three years ago recorded and then you see it now and that's amazing yeah i have nothing else to say i feel a bit like really losing myself here in my words in my own word because i'm trying not to edit anything and i'm not actually pre i haven't prepared anything to say i'm just talking so yeah blabbling <laughs> that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and if you have anything else to ask me regarding streams and live streams and twitch also youtube please leave a comment below and let me know maybe i will answer them in the next casual monday or maybe i will make just small updates regarding my experience on twitch this is my first thought my first experience there will be a lot more and a lot more i will discuss a lot more things with you and yeah thank you guys Funny girls out. Bye bye.